Okay, I'm going to be talking about um, the pre-surgical procedures. Um, so I'm going to start off with uh, the scrubbing one. So I think it's kind of interesting. I mean, I kind of knew this because I'm not saying that Grey's Anatomy is like, a good way, but like I've seen things as this. So like, and I have like people who are nursing majors and stuff. And I know that you're not allowed to have like any like acrylic nails but I didn't know that your fingernails weren't allowed to go past your fingertips I know that you have to take off all your jewelry um and then you have to pre-wash before you scrub but only if it's the first case of the day or if they're like you can t tell that like you're dirty um and then there's two different sides of the brush so they're the abrasive side and then the um the not abrasive side so the abrasive side is only for your fingertips and you have to go back and forth for like 30 seconds and then the non-abrasive side is for like your hands and stuff and so i just thought they were like you know going around but i guess you do like 10 sides on one side and then 10 on this side and then 10 and then 10 and you just keep going down your fingers and then once you go over a part rubbing it you don't you don't wash it again and then once you do your fingers then you do your back of your hand i think 10 times front of your hand 10 times don't go back over it and then you split your arm up into sections to your elbow and you scrub that and then when you're rinsing you start with your fingertips and she did like this with her hand and you just go slowly and rinse off and if you miss the spot you have to take your hand out all the way and go through again because of like cross contamination um and then the video about the gloving um i think that's kind of interesting um well if i have to uh i'll apply it all again um so the open glove one um he said that you only use that if your hands or your fingertips and your palms are only sterile so you don't really do that a lot but like the only, so you don't go, once you like put it on, you don't let go, once you let go of the glove, you don't, you can't touch that again. Because then this hand would be contaminated. Just kind of interesting. And then the closed glove one, when you're scrubbing in and stuff, and then you put your gown on, he said that if there's a patient not in there, you can lay the gown on there. But you put it on, and then you leave your fingertips and hands not out of the cuffs of the gown. Um... And then when you put the gloves on, you tuck your fingers underneath and you put it on like this. And then you only put it so like you're, it's in like the main part of the glove. And then you, when you pull the gown down, then your fingers will go into the glove. And you do the same thing. Um, and then when dressing a surgeon, um, you can only touch the outside of the gown. So you like kind of fold it over by the shoulders and you put it on them. Um, and then you're allowed to touch the whole gloves because you're already gowned up and then you put it around you and then you just pull it down on them. Um, but they're allowed to take their hands out because you pull the sleeves down. So you, their hands are exposed, but like they're above the 90 degrees, like your elbows, 90 degrees. Um, and the last one is the timeout video. Um, I think it's interesting that that's a thing. I did not know that that was a thing. I like how um, they like ask if everyone's ready for it, and then they say, "Oh, I'm the surgeon, and what am I? What am I in charge of?" Then you have the scrub nurse, and you have everyone, and they go around the room, and they say their name and what they're doing, and then the surgeon goes over like, "Oh, we're doing an ACL repair on the left knee." Um, the patient is this person like I it's already drawn out and it just kind of like gets everyone up to speed on what they're doing and so make sure that there is no mistake um I also you um said even in class that like the patient is in there like it'll kind of calm them down because everyone knows their role so there's not really a mix-up of what's gonna happen and what's not um I feel like applying this to athletic training, the gloving could really help because sometimes if we have to do um, like stereo strips or something like you're supposed to be, um, or if we learn how to do stitches, um, that would be 
kind of helpful because you need to know how to put on sterile gloves because that's what you're supposed to do and then keep your hands above 90 because you don't want to give your patient an infection because you touched an, a sterile spot with your hands not sterile um i think that uh the timeout i mean that's all surgery so i don't really think that can really relate i mean it's nice to know like what's going on and stuff so like you can do it like in a different way type of thing like oh when they come in for an eval or something you can be like i'm carrie i'm the athletic trainer like if you have students like oh this is so and so she's the athletic training student that's going to be helping me and you don't really have like design or designated positions but like everyone has a role kind of um that's about it <laughs>